Right, the time is now 25 past seven. Uh, this is the end of, in the evening, the end of um, day number two. Uh, this morning was uh, our first sort of mock inspection, which was just a, a run through basically of what to expect when we get a, a proper inspection on Tuesday uh, by our, um, our corporals or instructing us. Um, it all went quite well, uh, not many mistakes and we were complimented. Uh, we did fairly good on our first attempt apparently, which is, uh, which is good. Um, so that was a mock inspection. Uh, after that we had um, the standard march down to our little training centre uh, where we took part in, in lessons all day pretty much. And the first part of the day, the morning session, was uh, guards and sentry procedures. So that covered everything around um, alert states, um, powers of arrest, searches, that kind of thing. Everything associated with the security of a, a military installation really. Um, after a packed lunch um, we then had individual reinforcement training which covered things such as operational hazards, so what to look out for when you're on operations, whether it's driving conditions, weather, that kind of thing, and how that affects uh, us as um, servicemen. And we also did some mine awareness, so looking at uh, different types of mines and where they're employed around the world, and what to do if you to come across a mine. Um, we looked quite in depth at suicide attacks and how they've been used uh, throughout warfare really, but especially at the moment uh, in modern warfare and um, what the procedures and actions are upon discovering that kind of threat, a suicide attack. Um, something that was very interesting, we watched a um, quite a long presentation um, regarding what the military call the SEER training, which is survival, evasion, resist and extraction, um, which is basically what it's conduct after capture if you like, um, the resist part of it anyway. It's basically what to do if you find yourself in a position where you're alone or in a team behind enemy lines. And you first thing obviously is to survive, evade capture if possible, if you are captured to resist and there's certain procedures behind that and, and you know, you've got certain things you have to do whilst you're captured, certain things you can't do as well. And then also extraction, and how that would take place and um, how best to sort of uh, implement an extraction plan, that kind of stuff. So it was very interesting actually, we were quite, uh, quite interested in that. After that, a uh, nice evening meal and now a few of us are just off to the gym. Uh, pretty much everybody squared their own personal kit away and stuff which is important. Um, so yeah, it's been quite a good day so far. Uh, just a few other general points. Tomorrow we've got weapons training, so it'll be the first time for some people that they've um, actually handled the weapons. Um, a few of the other guys have done it before, um, but some guys haven't touched weapons at all before, so it'll be really interesting for those guys. Um, this is kind of what they joined up to do, so it'll be uh, a good start to the, uh, um, the next part of training for them. Um, a few of the points, everyone is settled in and happy, uh, there doesn't seem to be any welfare issues at the moment. There are plenty of time uh, plenty of time available for things like calling home, that kind of stuff. Um, also if you've got uh, any problems with your job, your civilian job, you've got plenty of time where you can, uh, um, if you need to, you can talk to the directing staff and they'll point you in the right direction of, of what to do if you have a problem. Uh, we're not allowed to take mobile phones into the training centre for obvious reasons. Um, but if you if you do need to call work or you do need to answer emails, take calls, that kind of thing, there is the facility to do that um, if you need to, which is obviously good for us guys, as we all have uh, civilian careers as well. Uh, so yeah, there's plenty of time to relax in the evenings as long as you're quick in doing the jobs that you need to do. So all's good, and um, I'll give you an update tomorrow afternoon as to how our weapons training day one goes. Cheers.